And yeah, I wasn't lying. Now we have three Goblin King minifigures. Or actually, should I even call them minifigures? They're so big and ugly, you know. Today, I got another Lego haul and there's gonna be a bunch of Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, and Harry Potter sets as well as some minifigures. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. First of all, we got the Goblin King battle. You can see there's the Goblin King right here. So yeah, as you can see, here are all the minifigures that came with this set. So we have all of them, especially the Goblin King. That's a really nice one. So that's actually going to be my third Goblin King, actually. And yeah, I wasn't lying. Now we have three Goblin King minifigures. Or actually, should I even call them minifigures? They're so big and ugly, you know. But yeah, we have the instruction manuals as well. Now we have some minifigures right here. Here I see a T-Rex. So you got a T-Rex right here, probably from Jurassic World. They're always nice. I really like the T-Rex, especially for Lego. They're just well done. And also you can like, you know, move the mouth, open it, uh, move the arms and the legs. And you even have the tail. So just a nice T-Rex in general. And right here, we have the Shalob attacks. We have the instruction manual right here as well. Really cool set. You got Gollum. That's an exclusive one actually because his mouth is like different. I know there's another minifigure of Gollum, but definitely not as cool as this one. And then we got Sam and Frodo. So that's a really cool set. I might keep that one as well. We got the spider right here because I don't have this set, but we'll see. But yeah, the Goblin King set is really cool. I'm actually like very happy to finally have that one because it's one I've been wanting for a while, but just never had it. All right, we also have a couple of mini figures. It seems like there's an extra goblin because we had all of them, right? So that's just an extra goblin. Uh, he doesn't have the right head though, unfortunately. But nonetheless, I'll take it. Just the parts alone are worth a lot. So it's definitely a cool me figure. We got actually two Moria orcs. Oh, and that's why, that's the goblin's head. That's why, and then this is a Moria orc head right here. So that's actually great. We'll be able to complete this goblin. Then we have also this dinosaur. Not sure what that is, but it's definitely a cool one. I'll take it, that's for sure. I used to know all the dinosaurs when I was young, but now I feel like I don't know much about them. I actually forgot. But yeah, let me know in the comments what that dinosaur right here is. I have no clue. Then we have this clone gunner. This one used to be worth quite a bit, but because of the new clone gunner, the 2022 clone gunner, it's not worth as much. We actually have a Saruman with the wrong hand though. So not a not an expensive or dif difficult piece to find. That's actually a cool Kanan. Definitely a really nice one. It's the blind Kanan that came, I think it was with the, the Phantom 2. And yeah, that's just a really cool me figure. It's actually worth a lot right now. I think it's like 50 bucks. And then we have this Anakin, the Padawan. Finally, one with the right head. Usually I get like the right torso, right body, everything, but the head is always different for some reason. Maybe it's just a curse, I don't know. But we also have Plo Koon and Iron Man. Plo Koon's actually like 20 bucks. The Anakin Padawan is like, I think 40, maybe a little less. We got four Lum. That's a great me figure as well. Oh, we actually have this Bilbo. I really like this Bilbo because he's got like printed arms. And I think he's worth like 30 something bucks. Because he's actually not that expensive considering like he's that cool, you know? Like it's definitely the, one of the best, if not the best Bilbo mini figure out there. We got this Ewok right here. Not sure what's his name. We got Wonder Woman. Bit of like bite marks right here. Yeah. Kind of damaged, but still a great mini figure. Harley Quinn right here. Got a Jawa. I hope he doesn't just have a black head. That'd be kind of bad. Yeah, that's the wrong head, but it is what it is. I don't really mind because it's, you know, it's just a Jawa. Like, who cares? We got Obi-Wan. I think he has the wrong legs. So a couple of mini figures that don't have the right legs or pieces, but it's not that bad. We still have like this Ninjago, that's a cool one. Couple superheroes. 
this shark guy no clue that is i'm not sure um if he has a right head right here then we have this minifigure no clue who that is i have to find it we have this oh, i forget what's his name but i forget the name of this minifigure i know he's like 10 bucks so i've had it in the past and then we got poe dameron dangar doesn't have the backpack so kind of worthless as long well unless i can find it and then some me some random me figures this one though i know is like 15 bucks so that's a decent one but the other ones are like kind of garbage so yeah that's pretty much it for this bag now let's move on to this little one right here okay we have some nice ones here as well man we have another goblin but he doesn't have the right head. It's uh, once again a Moria Orc head, but we don't have another Moria Orc. So this time I think we're stuck with that, but you know what? The pieces alone can be sold separately. They're still worth quite a bit. So like, I won't complain. We got Boromir. That's a great meme figure right there. Oh, Two-Face. Right here, that's Two-Face. Really, really cool meme figure. He's actually 10 bucks. The Boromir actually dropped in value. I think he's like 30 or maybe even less, maybe 25 because there's a new one with the Rivendell set. I actually don't have it yet. I'm trying to like find it at, at a better price because it's so expensive, but man, it's such a great set. I might just have to purchase it. We got Bosk as well. He's like 15 bucks. We got this Shadow Trooper. We got another Shadow Trooper. We actually have quite a bit of those and another one. So we got three out of four mini figures from that set. And then we have Chopper. With the new Chopper, this one's only like 12, 13 bucks now. It used to be more. We have this Astromech Droid. This one's from, I think the V-Wing. It's actually a great mini figure. I like, I like the Prince. He's really like, you know, it's, it's a red Astromech, which is pretty cool. Couple of pilots, not bad at all. Another Rebel pilot. Another one of those, that's the second one. Oh, we got, I think that's Asajj Ventress as like the bounty hunter or like, I'm not sure, but it's like a Asajj Ventress, but like newer minifigure, like, well, newer, not really, but one of the newest ones. Let's just leave it at that. And then we got this guy. I think that's from Harry Potter. Not sure though. We got a couple Iron Man. Those are pretty plain. I think they were like, from the four plus sets, like four year old plus, so I don't think they're worth much. We got another Harley Quinn with the hammer, so that's definitely worth something. I'm not sure uh, how much, but still pretty cool. I don't even know if it's Harley Quinn actually, because I don't know. I haven't watched the movies, so not 100% sure, but we also have this minifigure right here. Ariel, so that's pretty cool. I'm not sure how much that one's worth. I know there's a couple, so I'm not sure. Could be actually pretty cool though. Then we have this. I don't know if like the tail's supposed to go with this me figure right here. How does that work? Like, on the head? Either way, pretty cool one. Oh, okay, it's not damaged. <laughs> pretty cool one though. No clue how much it's worth. Got Captain America with the shield. Definitely cool one. And then we got these right here that are I guess worthless kind of some ninjago this guy is missing something like the helmet all right next up we got this right here actually i have no clue what that is oh that's actually a harry potter set right i completely forgot but that's actually brand new seal 4735 it's a no g harry potter so a vintage one it's actually really cool. I think why I forgot it was that is because it was packaged in this. You don't package a set in a freaking bubble mailer. Like, come on. That's why it's like all damaged now. Damn, that's ruining the vintage set. Luckily, I got it for a good price. It's not like that big of a deal, but for collectors out there, you know. That's what they care about. But yeah, I got lucky because it could have been much worse than that. Usually, like, if you package it in a bubble mailer, like, never do that because then the corners are going to be much more damaged than this. Like, that's not even that terrible considering it was packaged like that. Like, you could have, like, huge creases, huge dents. A bit like here. You see here? I don't know if it was already like that, but I doubt it. I think that's because of the packaging. So, yeah, lesson learned from that. You know, here's a big one, too. 
Huh, that's unfortunate. It is what it is, though. But yeah, still happy to have this set. Pretty cool one. Beautiful. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, share the channel, and you can click on this video right here. It's going to be another amazing Lego haul. I hope I'll see you there. Have a good one. Bye-bye.